100 families in three communities of Berinki Ladi local government area of Plateau State who were displaced following suspected herders' militia attacks some months ago have returned to their ancestral home. Funam Joshua reports. This is Josine's internally displaced camp in just the Plateau State capital. This facility has been accommodating over 18 communities displaced by a series of attacks launched to some villages in Riom and Berkeley local government areas of the state sometime early this year. The Plateau State Government, in collaboration with a special task force deployed to restore peace in the state last September, pledged to see the immediate relocation of the IDPs back to their ancestral communities before the end of the year 2018. There are about five villages within the Gashish general area. Uh, the, the, the villagers uh, will be moved today in collaboration with all the, the relief material that has been provided by the state government. And uh, on my own part, I have secured all the villages with enough uh, manpower. There are security men that are there and they will remain there permanently. We are going to dominate the whole area. We are going to continuously be doing uh, aggressive patrolling in the whole area. And we have sent out also messages. Yeah, we have uh, Gozen, Gora Falls, and then Kukuruk. These are the three communities that are moving at the moment. But I want to assure you that they will soon move. The other ones will soon move as well. It was a dream come true to some of the displaced victims whose only wish for the past six months has been to return back to their home again. I'm happy to be going back home today. We thank the special tax force and government for fulfilling their promise. I'm so happy. Don't know the situation back home at the moment, but I'm just happy leaving the camp. Thank God for everything. As you can see, I'm happy. And when the time came to leave, the displaced returnees did not waste time in boarding the vehicles provided for their movement as each one took their seat orderly. The vehicles conveying them then left the IDP camp amid celebration as they bid farewell to those left behind. Finally, after takeoff from just the state capital, we arrived at the Gashish community, the final destination. This is the mixed feeling reaction here in the Gashish community of Barkeladi. As you can see, some of the internally displaced have just arrived in this community. Some of the returnees, mostly women and children who could not hold themselves seen home for the first time after some months away, busted into tears as they hugged each other. We spoke to some of them on how they are feeling after leaving the IDP camp. We are happy for our combat. We want to uh, plead the government to do something about this because this is not the first time that this is happening. It happened in 2012 and it happened this year again. So please, we want to beg the government to do something about it. We are happy coming back home because when we left this village almost six to seven months now, none of us is happy because we left our houses. We are living together with people that we don't know from different communities. Three out of the 18 communities displaced following the attacks in Gashish have now returned back to their native land. The ball is now in the court of the special task force and the state government to intensify more security measures to safeguard the lives of the villagers. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Gashish Berkeley local government, Plateau States.